We have two mystery purse boxes to open in today's video. Hi guys, I'm Kristen with another Chance Resale. I'm a full-time reseller and this is another purse sale video. So we have two mystery boxes we're gonna open today. One is from the Goodwill Blue Box and one is from America's Thrift Supply. Now, if you guys saw my last two um, videos about the Americans, America's Thrift Supply unboxings, I am offering a, well, they are offering a 15% off coupon code if you would like to try any of their mystery boxes through the month of July. So you just have to the end of this month to use my coupon code, Kristen, um, at checkout and you will save 15%. They have all different kinds of mystery boxes um, other than just the purse and also the jewelry. Uh, so check it out. It's americasthriftsupply.com and use code Kristen at checkout for 15% off. Okay, so those will be at the end of the video. Uh, first, we're going to go through the clearance section and then we will do the thrifted purse section. So if you're interested in anything that you see in the video, you can email me at anotherchanceresale1 at gmail.com. I always keep all my information down below in the description box. Um, the prices you hear do not include shipping. And um, just give me like a timestamp and a brief description of the items you're interested in. Um, also, um, I will keep a sold list down below in the comment section. So it'll be the first comment pinned at the top of the comment section. Just check that out before you email me. Um, and let's get into the clearance section. So first up, we have the vintage little like envelope style purse with the metal handle. And it opens and you have the interior like so. And this one just had a little bit of wear to the top of the handle there, but otherwise in nice We're condition. Going to drop this one to ten dollars. Okay, then we had the fossil. This is the really nice buttery leather black fossil crossbody, or you can um, adjust it to be a shoulder bag. So it looks like this. And just remember, I go over the clearance section a little faster because it was already shown in a previous video. So if you want to see it in more detail, you can just um, go back to my last purse sale video and it'll be there in more detail. So this one is in really good condition. You have the little turn lock um, compartment here. These are functioning pockets. And then the back had this really cool section that you unzipper and you can put some cards in there if you would like or your keys and um, wallet for easy access because it is on your body side so it won't be you know easily accessible to predators or stealers or pickpocketers but there's the interior really nice with your slips on this side a zipper on that side so nice size for on the go and we are dropping this one to $38 then we have um, the sack roots. This is the sack roots crossbody. So cute. It's the coated canvas, so it's easy to clean. Um, it's in. It's at a crossbody right now, but you can change it to a shoulder bag. You have the really cool. Um, geez, Louise. There we go. Little hang tags. You got your elephant. Some tassels. You have a um, zipper pocket here. There's your little piece. Sack roots, zipper pockets here and here. Really nice condition on the bottoms and corners. Zipper closure. And then the interior is really nice in there. Sack roots, just got a little loose thread right there. I'll cut that. And your slips. So super cute and we're dropping this one to $35. Then we had the Nine and Company little faux um, snake print, um, either a handle purse or you can fold it in half to make it a clutch. Um, really nice condition, Nine and Co. And you just pop it open. There is a snap there, and then your interior. Okay, so this one we are dropping to fifteen dollars. 
Then we had the um, Liz Claiborne leather. This one is um, usually, usually Liz Claiborne is not leather. So uh, this one's really nice. It is, it's got a little dent from something sitting on it in my bin, but it's pebbled leather, super soft, black, um, zipper pocket here, pouch pocket here. There's very, very little wear to the corners. Very, very little wear. Nice shoulder bag. It is a zipper closure. And then the interior. There's your Liz Claiborne zipper and slips. Okay, nice little shoulder bag, really soft leather, and we're dropping this one to 15 as well. Then we have the faux leather. This is the BOC brand. This one is faux leather. It could be a shoulder bag or a crossbody. It is brown and black. You have the zipper pocket there, a zipper pocket there in the back. Really nice condition on this one. Now the um, interior, you have two different compartments. They are zipper closure. And then one section has your slip pockets. And then you unzipper the other section. It was already unzippered. <laughs> and you have your zipper section, zipper little um, pocket. Okay, so again, nice medium, small to medium size shoulder bag or crossbody, faux leather, $15 as well. Then we have the Amy Kestenberg. Um, this is the Amy Kestenberg tote. And it has the uh, Saffiano leather handles. And this part is like a nylon. You have a zipper pocket here. Oops, the little, little crushed there. You have a pouch pocket on the back, two side pockets, really nice condition. This brand sells um, for a pretty good amount. You have a zipper closure, and there's your large interior with your zipper and your slips, and there was um, a little bit of staining up there. But overall, really nice. Gym, work, travel, um, everyday bag, <laughs> uh, and we're gonna drop this one to 45. So this one was 60, and now it's 45. So that's a nice big discount. Grab it if you're interested. All right, and then we had the other tote. This one is the Liebeskind, and this one's more like a duffel um, like shape. It's like that rounded shape, and it is the nylon with the black leather handles. Liebeskind, and it does have a um, shoulder or crossbody strap that is removable. I didn't stuff this one, it would have took a lot of stuffing. <laughs> uh, really nice condition, zipper closure, and then a little bit of fuzzies. There's your interior. Okay, so super nice on this one. Again, work, travel, you name it, gym, um, diaper bag, and we're dropping this one to 45 as well, okay? Next up, we had the Simply Vera by Vera Wang. This one also is faux leather. This one it, um, has the snake print um, faux leather strap that is adjustable, crossbody. It has a little bit of the chain detail on the strap. You have your Simply Vera little sign there. You can wear it either way. This is the front, this is the front, whichever. Plain on one side, you got the zipper zipper pocket on that side. Really nice condition. And then in the front here, on the top, you have two compartments, actually three. So you have the front compartment, which is buttoned. You have the back compartment, which is buttoned. And then you have the center section, which is zippered. Okay. Really nice on this one, nice size, nice classy style. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so this one, we're gonna drop it to $20. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Okay, a little tickle in my throat. Next up, we have the Banana Republic, and you guys know I don't really like editing my videos, so, plus I don't really know how, so I do the least amount of editing possible, so I'm not gonna cut out that clip. <laughs> so next up, we have the Banana Republic. This is genuine leather. It has a zipper pocket here. Nothing on that side. It does have this like perforated um, style here. There is very, very little wear to the corners. Very, very little. Um, handles are good. It is a zipper closure. And there's your interior with the Banana Republic. It got a little bit of fuzzies in there and no pockets on the other side. And we're dropping this one to $25. Then we had the Mark Fisher. This was also a faux leather bag. This is like a uh, crossbody with a faux croc print. Very textured uh, Mark Fisher. You have the zipper pocket there. And on the back, you have the same style as the fossil. You can put some cards in there or your keys because this part stays against your body. Um, really nice condition. This one has a zipper closure and interior. Okay, so this one we're dropping to $25 as well. Then lastly for the clearance section, we have the Sonia Kashuk um, travel case. So this is really pretty. It's like a blue sunflower print. Um, it is in very good condition. It's like that nylon material. It has two compartments. One is just open. You can put like toiletries in here. You have a little slot on that side. And then the other side has little compartments to put maybe makeup or hair products or, um, you know, makeup brushes, all kinds of different things, toiletries, you name it. It's pretty big in great condition and we're dropping this to only $10, okay, 10 bucks. Okay, that wraps up the clearance section. Let's start with the thrifted purse section. So first up, so I did notice that um, a lot of the purses were like fall winter colors. Um, I think um, stores are really starting to push fall items. I have seen fall clothing in a lot of stores now so I mean we're just barely into the summer I'm not pushing for the fall but you know these retail stores um, <clears throat> so the first one up is a Talbot's this is genuine leather it is a crossbody or it could be a longer shoulder bag you have the two pockets you have the two pockets here in the front plain on the back it has gold tone hardware very, very minimal wear on this one. Um, you have a zipper closure. And there's your interior. Okay, so this one's super cute. It's a brown leather and it's by Talbot's and we're doing $28. Then I have another crossbody. This one's from Tianello. And it's got all different shades of brown, so it's a crossbody. This strap does not adjust. Um, so you got the dark, cro uh, dark brown crossbody strap, and then the leather purse. Everything's leather. You have like a beige and then a tan. There is a little bit of uh, scratching on the plate there. The back has one little mark there. You have a little slot on the back. <clears throat> There is very little wear to the corners. Okay, a little bit of wear. So you're gonna pop this up and then you have another pocket here. And then this section here is zippered. And there's your Tianello with your zipper and a slip. Okay, so super cute little crossbody. And we're gonna do uh, $30 on this one. Okay. We are flipping the page. And we are going to do now a Tory Birch. This is a blush pink leather crossbody. Little, almost like a little wallet style purse. 
There are a couple little light marks on the back. Okay, and then there were a little bit, a little bit of a light mark there and there. Um, very light, but it is there. Same with that spot. Okay, um, and then you're gonna open it up. There's your Tory Birch, and it's like a little wallet. So you put your cards in there, you can put some cash. Um, let me see if my phone fits. It does. So I have a really big iPhone with a case and a pop socket, and it fits and it closes. All right. Okay, so we are going to do $40 on the blush Tory Burch. I have another Tory Burch, and it's this one. It is a gray, like fuzzy tote with the gray. It's like a metallic uh, leather handle and bottom. All right, there are a couple little marks on the corners. Well, a mark on each corner, I should say. All right, and a little bit on the bottom. Um, the handles are good. There's just a little bit of discoloration at the top from the oils on your hands, but nothing, you know, structurally wrong. You have a snap closure and then your interior. There's your Tory with your zipper, some slips. So overall really nice, just a little bit of corner wear, corner discoloration. And we're gonna do 60 on this one, nice big tote. All right, then we have this one. Now this, if you guys remembered, um, I opened a thread up fun box not too long ago and this was inside of it. I had to wash it. Um, I totally forgot for my last one or two um, purse sales. So this is a Fia Raven. Fee, I probably messed that up. Fia R Raven. Fia Raven. It's Swedish for Arctic Fox. I probably messed that up. Um, I did wash it. It is a belt bag, but I think there's some staining on it. So if you look right there and right there, that did not come off. I washed this, this twice. Uh, I hand washed it and let it air dry. Um, so it is a belt bag. It is adjustable and you have a pocket on the back here. And then when you open it up, you have your slips okay oh no that's nothing so it's just on this side so because of the um, two stains on the front I'm just going to ask ten dollars for the belt bag and it's like an army green army green color um, okay then we have this really cool bag. I had to grab this because it's so, oops, it's so cute. It's um, leather and suede and it's got a llama on it. How cute is this? Um, right now it's set up to be a shoulder bag but you can adjust it to be a crossbody. Um, there is a little bit of glitter on the back. I tried to clean that off. I don't want to ruin the suede, so I didn't really go too crazy on it, but just so you know, there's a little bit of a glitter mark there. Um, but otherwise, it's really nice. It's super cute, and it's got this little, like this is fabric here, and this is fabric, and you pop up the top like this, and it is a zipper closure. And then their interior is all blank. All right, so this is a cute little, um, very boho um, purse with the llama, and we're gonna do 25 on it. All right, then I have an Anne Klein. So this one's so cute, I couldn't leave it there. It's not real leather, but I just thought it was really sweet. It's like a burgundy with the top handles, and it does have a crossbody or um, shoulder strap. And it is removable if you wanted to take it off. So, and this does fit under your arm. It's a little snug, but in case you're wondering. And it's in super nice condition. Gold tone hardware. And you have three sections. So, you have a front snap section. 
you have a back snap section and then the center is zippered and I think I don't think anyone's ever used this I mean it still has the plastic on the zipper pull so super cute get ready for the fall with this little cutie and it's gonna be $32 Then we have a Brighton. So this is a little canvas Brighton crossbody with, um, I think it might be leather, or maybe it's, maybe it's faux. Let me see if the tag says. It doesn't say, it just says, to wash in cold water with mild detergent, tumble dry, low, no bleach. Um, so I'm just gonna go with faux, uh, faux leather on the crossbody strap. Uh, really cute. There's only one little stain that I found, which is right there. And then the zipper pull is missing. So if you wanted something to like pull open the zipper a little bit better, just throw a keychain on there. And then there's your interior. Really nice for a white interior. <laughs> All right, so this is the front or that's the back, however you wanna wear it. And we're gonna do 24 on this one. Then we have a Vera Bradley, black and white, shoulder or crossbody. This is, I've had this um, style purse before, just a different print. So you have the pocket here, zipper pocket there, zipper on the back, really nice condition. Zipper closure. And there's your interior, just some slip pockets. All right, so this one we're going to do 25. Then we have a Lotus. This brand does, um, they have very nice leather bags. So that's Lotus, it has gold tone hardware. It is a pebbled leather. You have a nice big pocket in the front here. This is a, so this pocket on the back, it leads to this one. Not really sure what that's about, but anywho, it is in really nice condition. And it is a zipper closure. And there's the interior, super pretty with your Lotus and zipper and your slips there. So for this one, we are going to do $40. Nice taupe style, pretty large bag. Then we have, okay, so this one, I've never heard of this one, but I thought it was too cute. It's by Yak Pack, and it is a fabric, but it has this really cute um, panda pattern on it and it's yellow and it's very bright and summery and super cute and it's got a tie closure and it is in good condition. There's just a little bit, a little roughness there on that corner, but otherwise good. And then the interior, there's a couple little dog hairs in there, but I'll get those out. Not too bad. And um, super cute, so if you want something even for a niece or a cousin or a little girl, uh, daughter, granddaughter, super cute. Um, where are we? We're gonna do 15, okay? Then we have a travel makeup case or travel case by Lug, and this is brand new. This brand actually sells pretty well. So we have all the tags on it. They actually advertise this one as a trolley bag. So you can put this on the top of your luggage. So that's the bag right there. Um, and here's the slot on the back that you can put on the, on the luggage. Or you don't have to. There's also a zipper compartment on the back as well. There's a zipper compartment on the front, on the, each side. <laughs> And then when you open it up, it's got all the um, pockets there and the clear inside in case you spill um, makeup or shampoo, it'll be easy cleaning. 
So if anyone's interested in this, I am going to ask $30, brand new. Could make a great gift if someone you know is traveling. Um, then we have a fossil. This is fossil and it's suede and it's so cute. Um, it can be a crossbody or shoulder. It is brown suede with all these little um, studs and little flowers and everything. You have a zipper pocket on the front. There's your little fossil hang tag. The back, so it looks, suede is like the hardest thing to make look nice. But there's the, the back and this is a little tucked under. Um, you have a zipper pocket on the back there. And then that's it. So there is no like um, inside compartment. You have one zipper compartment on the front and one on the back. And then the one on the front. All right, so I just thought this was super cute. Nice little boho bag again. And we're going to do $30. Then I have a B. Mikowski. So this is a crossbody, or you can um, you can't adjust it any smaller. So it could just be a longer shoulder bag if you would like. B. Mikowski black butter leather crossbody. All right, you have a pocket here in the front, and then your little pouch on the back. Really nice condition. Very minimal wear on it. Um, zipper closure and then your traditional B. Mikowski interior. And for this one, we're doing 35. Then I have a coach. It's super cute. You can honestly wear this color year round. It's like a darker beige color and it's um, fabric with all the little C's. There's your coach there. You have a gold metallic double handle, gold hardware. Really nice condition on this one. Um, here's your hang tag. And it came with this hang tag. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to take it off. I'm not. Oh, it's Juicy Couture. I didn't even see that on there. I just saw that it said... Um, limited edition 2010 so i didn't even but on the other the other side it's juicy couture so i'm gonna leave this on there you guys can do whatever you would like with that um but the inside has three compartments so you have your front section that is buttoned button closure button magnetic closure you have two slip pockets in there your Center compartment is zippered, and I love the interior color, so pretty. And then your other button compartment has your creed and zipper. All right, super cute, great color for year round, and we're gonna do 55 on it, okay? Then we have a little red crossbody. This was cute, there's no name on it. I just thought it was cute. It's a red faux leather. It can be a crossbody or shoulder bag. I just thought it was a really nice size for your phone and your keys and maybe like, you know, a smaller wallet or just a couple bucks to throw in and go because if you're gonna be out all day, you don't want something heavy. So there's the interior. And then you have the back pocket back here. Okay, so let me get my phone and you're gonna just pop it in the back there. And then you can have like your wallet, your keys in there and you're good to go. Okay, so this one's cute and it's in really, really nice condition. I couldn't leave it there. Super cute for on the go and we're gonna do 15 bucks. Then we have this vintage leather pouch. Um, so you can either use it as a clutch or just like um, a pouch in your purse for uh, lipsticks or something like that, lip glosses. Um, you can keep it, you know, you can use it for whatever, toiletries. It is leather, it is in fabulous condition. 
And the only thing on the inside it says is that it's leather line. So I'm just gonna guess that's the brand. Um, there's your zipper in there and it is a zipper closure. It also says leather line on the zipper pull. So super cool little vintage leather pouch and we're gonna do 15 on this as well. All right, let me just grab the other stuff down here because it's all the way on the other side um, and I don't wanna keep reaching and okay. bending. So next up we have a fossil wallet and this is a brown pebbled leather. It looks almost purple, but I'm, it might be like a, I think it's brown, but it's coming off a little bit purple. So it might have some like purplish hues to it. Um, but it is a fossil wallet. I can't remember if I showed this to you guys or not. I think I might have. So I'm sorry if this is a repeat offender. Um, I don't remember. Okay, so there's your little kiss lock section. I think I might have. There's your interior. Just a little dirty. I'll, I'll wipe that down again. Don't know why. Okay, all those slots there. So this one we're gonna do $14 on. Nice condition. And then we have a Vera, we have two Vera wristlets. So we have this one. This is a wristlet, so I got like purple florals on it. You have a zipper pocket here in the front. Really nice condition. Zipper closure on the top and then a little slip pocket there. So this wristlet, we're going to do 12. And then I have this one. This is more just like a little makeup pouch. It has like the neon florals. And we're going to do um, 12 on this one as well. Then I have a Coach little makeup pouch. And there's your little coach um, hang tag. I love the colors on this one with the patent leather. And it is a zipper closure. And there's your interior. Super cute, and we're gonna do 20 on this one. Really nice condition, not dirty like at all. Okay, then we have I don't know if anyone would be interested in this. I have just a little coach keychain, um, or it could be like a zipper pull. It can hold a photo. Um, and then you have the little coach tag right there. Um, so I don't know if anyone would be interested in this. It is purple leather and I'll just do $5 on it. And then I found this at Savers and I just thought it was such a cool print, I could not leave it there. So this is a scarf, but check this print out. I thought it was Givenchy at first because of this, but there's no tags on it. I do not think it's Givenchy. I just think it's like an Asian print, but look at how pretty. And then it's got the fringe on the bottom. It is like a, a purplish, I see. To me, this is like a purple, but it might come off as brown. Um, but it is a actual like scarf. It's not a shawl, it's pretty thin. Um, but you got the fringe on both sides. Like I said, there's no tag, but I just thought the print was so pretty. So I grabbed it and we're gonna do 20 bucks. Okay, so that's it. Let's open up the um, two mystery boxes that we got. So remember, if you're interested in anything, just check that sold list down in the comment section before you email me. Um, refresh the page before you check the sold list because as you're watching, I will be updating it um, You know, as things are selling. Okay, let's do the America's Thrift Supply first. So remember I stated that if you guys would like to try one of their mystery boxes at checkout, use code Kristen and you will get 15% off. So, and they ship pretty fast. So I got this box in two days. 
Um, you know, I don't exactly know if their shipping for everyone will be that fast, so I don't want to guarantee super fast shipping, but they're based out of Alabama, and I live in New York, and it took two days to get there, and I didn't even believe that it was the mystery box, because I was like, I just ordered that. <laughs> but, okay, so let's see what we got. Now, this mystery box is... Totally forgot already. Um, this is the purse mystery box, and it is one designer purse for $24.99 plus shipping. And I have gotten this box once before, and I got a coach bag that was in excellent condition. Excellent, excellent condition, and I sold it for $50. So you can definitely make money. And let's see what I got this time. Okay, so here, yeah. So I ordered this, yeah, on the 5th. Okay. And it came on the 7th. All right, it looks like a coach. So they do give a certificate of authenticity, which is great. I got that on the last bag as well. So you know it's real. And let's see. Oh, this is cute. I don't think I've ever seen this um, style. I like that. The red with the leather and it's got like the nylon. Okay, it looks like there might be a spot on the back um, I can, I might be able to get it off, but it's very light. There's two little, a dark one and a light one. Um, but the corners are real, really nice. Really nice on the corners. Here's your hang tag. Um, the handles are really good. I mean, I've gotten thread up ones where the handles are like literally hanging by the last string. Um, okay, so it is a button closure. And the inside is a little like, not dirty, but it has like little fuzzies down there. So I would just honestly, oh wait, no, there is some ink. Is that ink or fuzz? Yeah, I think that's ink. So just in the corner there, there's some ink. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pull this whole thing out like this and I'm gonna hand wash the interior. So it should, most of it should come out. But all in all, this was a, this is a nice one. So I'm happy with that. Just, I'll clean the interior for you and um, I'm going to ask, oh wait, is there another compartment? Oh, there is. There's two other compartments. So I was like, what? why is there a turn lock here? So you open up the turn lock and you have a whole other compartment in the front. And then the back has the same thing, but it's just mag a magnetic closure. Wow, okay. And those compartments are really clean. So you have three compartments in this bad boy. You have one in the front, one in the back, one in the center. Wow. Okay, cool. I like it. I like it, and we're going to do $60 on it, and I will wash it for you guys. Okay, so far so good. Let's open the blue box, Goodwill Blue Box Mystery Purse Box. These launch every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, and they sell out pretty fast. They do but I usually can get one. I've been able to get one every time that I try. And usually they give anywhere from one to four purses. It actually looks like there's only one in here. Yeah, so it's one purse for $19.99 plus $5 shipping. Um, I've gotten two before, I've gotten three, and I've even seen someone on YouTube get four. Um, but I looks like I just got one. Let's see. 
Oh no, I did get two. Okay, let's look at the smaller one first. This is a Stone Mountain leather little um, wallet, brand new with the tag. Really cute print. Okay, this is cute. Um, okay, so yeah, if you have any cash, you would just stick it, you know, in these. This is like a little card holder wallet. This is actually the kind of the size wallets I like. Um, there's your little pocket on the back. So brand new with the tag and I will ask uh, $12. All right, let's see what this big mama purse is. It looks like a B. Mikowski, or at least I should say it feels like a B. Mikowski. Yep, I think it is. <clears throat> yep. Okay. So it is a brown B. Mikowski, which is fine. I like this brand. They do, I mean, the leather is always butter soft. So it looks like you have two pockets here in the front. Yep. Okay. They function. These right here. This looks like a little pocket. Yep. Right there. It looks like there's a little bit of staining. See those little marks? Um, the straps are really good. Straps are really good. Got the little pouch pocket on the back there. Very minimal wear to the corners. Just a couple little scratches on the bottom. Right there, right there, down there. Very minimal wear. So this one's nice. Let's check out the interior. It's a magnetic closure and you have three compartments on the inside. So the, the center is zippered. Yeah. Oh wow. This is really clean. Yep. Really super clean. I don't see anything wrong with the interior. Nice. Not that you can really see, but it's it's really clean. It's a really nice bag. Um, so let's do let's do forty five on this one. Not bad. All right, guys, that's it. So what'd you guys think? What'd you guys think of the America's Thrift Supply? Have you guys tried this um, company yet for their mystery boxes? If you have, what were your thoughts? Which box did you get? Um, did you like the Goodwill mystery box? I thought it was a pretty good one. So um, I'm happy. So I uh, hope you guys are too. I hope you had a fun time watching. Thank you so, so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up, please, if you haven't already. Subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.